Direct News TV July 3, 2023 Janine Attack Updates, Israel Kills Nine Palestinians, Tensions High Palestinian factions protest Israeli operation on Janine. Palestinian factions have organized a stand in the center of Gaza City, expressing solidarity with the people of Janine, amidst the ongoing Israeli assault. Dozens of participants gathered, chanted slogans demanding an immediate halt to the Israeli aggression in Jenin. Banners bearing the words, We are all Jenin, and We're with the resistance emphasized the urgent need for intervention by international and Arab parties to put an end to the Israeli military operation in Jenin declared on Monday. Khaled al Bach, a senior leader in Islamic Jihad, told Al Jazeera the importance of standing by the people and resistance factions in Jenin where he firmly stated that the Israeli occupation's attempts to take the battle to the streets of Jenin and the West Bank would be in vain, assuring that Jenin would not be left alone. He added, We have called upon all mediators worldwide to take immediate action to halt the assault against Jenin before it's too late. We, in Gaza, will not abandon Jenin. Jenin camp resident says children crying and shaking. Haifa Abu Syria a 34-year-old mother of three and resident of the Jenin refugee camp told Al Jazeera she and her family were awoken at 1.15 a.m., 22.15 Greenwich Mean Time, to the sound of shelling. They began hitting missiles. This is the first time my children live through shelling. They were crying and shaking, she said. Abu Syria noted that the raid is still ongoing. We live in the center of the camp. They, Israeli army, are ruining the homes they enter. They have been in the neighborhood above ours for the past two hours. OIC calls Israeli operation, heinous crime. The Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC, has condemned the Israeli operation, calling it a, heinous crime. This heinous crime constitutes an extension of crimes and organized state terrorism practiced by the Israeli occupation against the Palestinian people, the OIC said in a statement. Analyst slams international communities, empty words. Marwan Bashara, Al Jazeera's senior political analyst, says the international community's statements on the Israeli attacks on Palestinians are the same empty words, judging by the historic record. Probably we are closer to a divine intervention than an international intervention to protect the Palestinian people, he said. I think most of those who spoke so far, regardless of whether it is with good intentions, or otherwise, from the Palestinian Authority, Arab states and the Arab League onto the 55-member Islamic Conference, all of them condemned, nothing, nothing has been done. Israel continues with total impunity, to do what it has done for the past half a century, except doing more of it with more aggression and more vulgarity, he added. Health Ministry Releases Identities of Palestinians Killed in Jenin The Palestinian Ministry of Health has released a list of the names and ages of the eight people killed by the Israeli forces in the Jenin refugee camp. They included three minors. Nur Eldin Huzam Marshoud, 16. Majdi Ararawi, 17. Ali Hani Al Ghul, 17. Husam Muhammad Abu Theba, 18. AWS Hani Hanoun, 19. Sami Faras Abu Alwafa, 20. Ahmad Muhammad Amr, 21. Muhammad Mahanad Al Shami, 23. The ninth Palestinian killed by Israeli forces on Monday was 21 year old Muhammad Imad Hazanian. He was shot dead at the northern entrance to Ramallah city. Journalists directly targeted by Israeli army in Jenin, TV crew. Al Arabi TV channel correspondents and other journalists said they were directly targeted by Israeli live fire while reporting on events in the Jenin refugee camp. A video shared by the crew showed the camera and the broadcast device on fire, with the journalists noting that the army fired live ammunition directly at us. Al Arabi TV correspondent Amid Shahada said the army hit the camera with about 10 bullets. Shahada along with four other journalists, were stuck inside one of the homes in the camp for two hours before Red Crescent teams were able to evacuate them in an ambulance. In a post on Facebook, Shahada said, the Red Crescent crews took us out of Jenin camp by ambulance, after we were targeted with live bullets from snipers of the terrorist occupation army, 
and we were besieged inside a house for more than two hours. I was forced to leave the Jenin refugee camp, after our camera and broadcasting device were detonated with bullets, he wrote, describing the situation inside the camp as real horror. The conditions inside the camp are terrifying. I saw men banging their heads against the walls because they had nothing to defend their families and children with, children and women crying unceasingly, and the bullets of the occupation army everywhere. Gaza-based political factions call on Palestinians to rally around Jenin. The Israeli aggression on Jenin has raised fears of yet another escalation with armed resistance groups in the besieged Gaza Strip, some of which have been lending support to Palestinian fighters in the occupied West Bank. The Joint Operations Room of the Palestinian Resistance Factions, an umbrella group comprising political parties in Gaza, said in a statement, We call on all our people in cities, villages and camps, especially around Jenin, to confront the Israeli occupation and support Jenin. We call on the resistance fighters in all arenas to respond to any aggression if the Israeli occupation continues its crimes against our people. Why does Israel keep raiding Jenin? The Jenin refugee camp has been the target of intensifying and recurring attacks by Israeli forces over the past two years. Along with Nablus, also in the northern occupied West Bank, it has witnessed the emergence of a new generation of Palestinian fighters resisting Israel's decades-long military occupation. The emergence of the new fighting groups came on the heels of a mass popular outburst of Palestinian resistance in May 2021. It began in occupied East Jerusalem's Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood and led to Israel's war with armed groups in Gaza. Israel's attacks on Jenin are part of an effort to crush resistance there, with young Palestinians increasingly taking up arms, arguing that they see no other way to fight the occupation and increasingly disillusioned with what they see as the waning effectiveness of the Palestinian Authority. In Jenin, the Israelis have found a strong adversary, a group known as the Jenin Brigades, which has come to pose a significant challenge to the Israeli military when it raids the camp. The group, mainly supported by the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, includes young men with individual affiliations to Hamas, Fatah and the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, PFLP. Israel is committing horrific crimes against Palestinians, Qatar. Qatar has strongly condemned the repeated aggression of Israel against the city of Jenin, considering it a new episode in a series of continuous attacks by the occupation and its horrific crimes against the defenseless Palestinian people. The Qatari Ministry of Foreign Affairs warned of the fading opportunities for peace and the widening of the cycle of violence due to the continuous Israeli escalation in the occupied Palestinian territory. It also stressed the need for the international community to move urgently to provide the necessary protection for the Palestinian people and to oblige Israel to stop its flagrant violations of international law and force it to respect the decisions of international legitimacy. Children among those killed in Israeli attacks, lawyer from Jenin. Mohammed Kamanji, a lawyer and human rights researcher from Jenin, has told Al Jazeera that the situation is very difficult in the city and the camp. What is going on now is that a massive number of Israeli occupation forces are storming the city and the camp. Airstrikes are ongoing until now, he said. The military machine, armed vehicles of the Israeli forces, bulldozers are all over the place. They are now destroying everything, the properties of the citizens, the infrastructure, and the roads inside the camp, Kamanji said. And for the time being, there are huge numbers of wounded and injured people, and martyrs lost their lives. Damages in the properties are all over the place, he added. Amongst the martyrs, there are children, young kids. Properties of the citizens have been destroyed and they need to live in peace inside the area, Kamanji said. Largest Israeli military operation in Jenin since 2002. The attack on Jenin is the largest Israeli military operation on the refugee camp since 2002 during the Second Intifada, or Mass Palestinian Uprising. Some 150 armored vehicles and about 1,000 soldiers from elite special forces and the military as well as general intelligence, police and border police are taking part in the operation, Al Jazeera's Jerusalem bureau chief, Walid Al-Omari, said. 
Israeli forces launched missile attacks on the densely populated camp and deployed helicopters and drones as part of the incursion, destroying infrastructure, including homes and roads. They surrounded the camp from all directions while snipers, bulldozers and soldiers operated inside the camp and exchanged fire with Palestinian resistance fighters. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.